Hello everybody and this is Chaos with Chaos Esports Production bringing you the next game of this Bronze to Masters League uh, series. Um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. So we have, when I when I warped in, uh, I noticed it was a P, uh, yeah, PV random. Um, so generally when I see random, um, I go with a typical standard open uh, 9 pylon, usually a 12 or 13 gate, uh, depending on how I'm feeling. Um, and kind of play, assume that I'm going to play a Protoss or a Terran, since obviously the likelihood is that I'll more like more likely than not I'll play a uh, Protoss or a Terran. Um, and kind of play for that. So, I believe this map is called Korhal City. Uh, and what is really interesting about this is your natural is more or less a free base because basically you have the single ramp um, and that's it that's all that leads up into your main and your natural uh, so it's really easy to take your uh, take your natural no big deal uh, I need to switch this to my camera um, so yeah so uh, typical nine pylon scout uh, no big deal uh, just to get through the uh, earlier stages of the game uh, not too much changes from my normal build. Um, uh, let's slow it down. Um, so yeah, so we go with go for a 13 gate, uh, and then I choose to go for a relatively quick expand. I see, um, I see it's a Zerg player, so um, I don't feel too bad that I've gone for the gateway first, even after seeing a Zerg, just because this ramp is fairly easy to hold uh, once I get a century up. Um, so yeah, so I go in, I see pretty early expand from him, uh, and then I kind of just keep my probe around to see when his pool timing is. Uh, back at home, uh, I choose to go ahead and get my assimilator and my first, uh, pylon before I take my expansion. Uh, that just gives me some more, a little bit more gas, uh, f once I finally get my, uh, cybernetics core up and running so I can get a early century and then also I can start thinking about putting down a forge and getting up by plus one. Um, so I see, kind of get an idea for his spool timing, so um, no, everything's pretty uh, standard so far. Um, so I go ahead and put down my Cybernex core. Um, and then at this point, um, I saw, I noticed that the pool was a little bit, about halfway done. Um, so this is about the time when I start thinking about, uh, you know, making my zealot. Uh, I think it should come down here in a second. Yeah, there. Um, that's just to kind of deal with any early pressure. Um, so I see him coming back with this scout. I don't know. Was I scouted earlier? I don't know. Let's see. Vision. Yeah, I was scouted earlier already. So um, him coming back in with that kind of confused me a little because I was like... Um, pretty sure you already scouted, uh, but then I realized that he was just coming in, check on my natural, and see what he could see. Um, I don't know if he gets out with that. Uh, no. So I take that out, and then I notice the lings, so I pull I pull a single probe. I should have an A moved with that probe as opposed to um, just moving him in and letting him sit, uh, but still need to work on my micro a little bit. Um, so I deny... I kill one, two. Uh, the zealot pretty much comes out and cleans up the rest of these, and no big deal. Um, so my natural's up. Uh, obviously, I'm a little bit uh, heavy on get on minerals, so um, this is about the time when I'm starting to think. Okay, so what am I gonna do? Um, PBZ. Uh, I've been really trying to work on an immortal century all in type build. Um, but I think the biggest thing that I've been having trouble with is a lot of Zergs are going for a very fast third. Um, and especially on this map, since it's a bigger ramp, it's harder to like keep uh, keep units outside, you know, from coming from the name and natural out to kind of destroy your force. Uh, so let's go ahead and speed it up. Um, I try to go with a standard build that I saw. Uh, Naniwa. It's either Naniwa or um, yeah, I can't remember. Can't remember who it was. 
Uh, but anyways, it's it's a relatively simple build. Uh, seven gateways by the time you're pushing out. Um, you have three immortals roughly around seven centuries. Um, I'll probably put the, the build in the description uh, for anybody who's curious. Um, but yeah, so... Um, so, the biggest thing about this build is you don't do a lot of scouting. You kind of go into it blind. So, um, I, I chose to go ahead and send out a single uh, a single hallucinated phoenix just to get an idea of what I was dealing with. Um, and when I saw these double upgrades, I was a little worried going in because I'm like, well... That could be. That could mean that he has more upgrades than me. Uh, my plus two, my plus one armor just started, and um, so I see he knows I'm coming. So he's definitely getting ready for it, which is a little bit of a bummer on my part. Um, so I get my uh, what prism out, and I do one warp in of zealots. Um, now at this point, I have five centuries. Um, so obviously I've deviated from the build a little too much, in my opinion. Um, so I go, I plant this guy down here, I try to kill off as much as I can, he moves back up his ramp, and these force fields are decent. Now I'm going to slow this down so we can kind of see the engagement happen. Now the force fields are okay, um, I move up his ramp a little bit more, but the biggest problem is these zealots are doing nothing. They're not soaking up any damage, letting my immortals live a little bit longer. They're not they're not doing anything. So this is mistake actually this is not mistake number one. This is actually mistake number two. Mistake number one happened a little bit back here. Um when I came in speed it up to get there. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Um, speed it up. Okay. So first of all Century number one just died, which is not good. Uh, we used we, a force field, but what needed to happen, rather than try to push up this ramp, now, I, I need to figure out how to incorporate a, um, a mothership core in this instance. Either that or a, um, uh, or a, an observer, because looking up this ramp is a pain. Uh, and it's really hard to deal with, you know, he's got a hundred roaches up here, more or less. Um, so what I should have probably done is, as opposed to, like, walk up the ramp, is I should have probably taken these sentries, uh, planted them right here, taken the rest of my army down to his third, and just sat here in force field, force field of this ramp. Um, this gives me the flexibility of, you know, basically taking out this third and everything down here. Um, I have enough force fields to hold this ramp, I believe, four or five times. Uh, so as long as those force fields are halfway decent, um, everything should be fine. Um, so anyways, uh, I move in. I, I trade pretty well as I'm sitting here, but obviously my zealots aren't doing anything. Um, my upgrade finishes, and this is where things start to go a little bit haywire. Um, I still think I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I see all these roaches up here, but I'm um, doing a fair amount of damage. I've still got a lot of stalkers. Uh, I've got one immortal still, and things are still going. I'm warping in. Uh, so I'm doing all the, the macro things that I should be. Um, one thing I should have done is, at this point, I've got so much money. All I needed to do was take a single probe, bring it down here, and take a third. Uh, that at least gives me something behind this, as opposed to just choosing to make this kind of all in. So, anyways, as far as this game goes, uh, we walk in. We continue to try and push, push the inevitable. Um, he takes out the majority of my army, and things are not looking too hot. Um, so I keep pushing. I went ahead and got charge because charge is actually really uh, good in this situation because it gets them in there faster to actually do damage as opposed to just soaking up all the damage from the roaches. Um, but yeah, so 
finally get my mothership core out just as a the time warp is really nice uh, and it's really really good um, so as far as this game goes uh, I pretty much go back I take my try to take my third um, go ahead and get on my Colossus Bay and also continue to get upgrades um, I was able to do a lot of harassment with this warp prism uh, I took out uh, his infestation pit also, I take out his Hydroden and um, things that, and you now obviously he's at 2-1, so his upgrades are doing pretty deece. Um, I'm, at, I'm also at 2-1, working on 3-3, so mine are getting there. Um, but yeah, I just, I just choose to take this third way too late, um, and at this point I really don't have an army behind this, and my main is more or less mined out. So, um, things to work on with this, um, you know, basically, what really needs to happen is I need to I need to learn to work on my macro a little bit better, uh, getting these expansions up and not focusing on the micro of the battle uh, as much. I think that will do me a lot of good in the uh, in the long run. So. Uh, I hope you like this analysis, uh, and I hope you enjoy it. I'll go ahead and speed it up just so you can kind of see the conclusion of the game. Um, but like I said, I before I, I get my Robo Bay, and then I start double Colossus production. Uh, and at this point, he's just way ahead of me. Um, he's maxed out. He is probably on working three three upgrades. Uh, let me slow this down. Or just pause it and then slow it down. So yeah, so I mean, he's on four bases. His upgrades are at two two. He's probably working on. He's not even working on three three, which is kind of a mistake on his part because he's got lots of minerals and stuff. Um, and he should also be having working on these gases just because why not? Um, but yeah. So, anyways, uh, he comes in. I. <laughs> try to be little cheeky and build up enough stuff um, and unfortunately I just I just don't have enough to deal with this so uh, at this point it's more or less GG and like I said I hope you guys enjoyed um, if you have any comments about the way I go through my analysis and would like things to change feel free to give me comments in the section below I'm always interested in, in improving and kind of giving people what they want to hear and see um, so yeah uh, I hope you enjoyed feel free to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next game